For many, many years, SVA had a special department in cartooning when no other school had a major. A lot of students were coming out of the GI Bill during World War II. Because of that, there's always been a special place for cartooning at the School of Visual Arts. Demographics keep changing and comics keep changing, and that's why it's a very, very exciting department to be in charge of. It's really open to what you're interested in as far as comics. For my portfolio, I'm working on a memoir comic, but on the side, I also have a comic online about magical girls. There is a focus on the personal comic, Amara Manga, Young Adult, and the adventure comic. We were encouraged to work in traditional media in black and white. You really have to understand like composition and how to set up a page. And there were even times where we were told, don't even put words in. They teach you really how to tell a narrative simply with the visuals. I've learned how to take a comic from start to completion, from basic idea to finished, colored, and even self-publishing. We have this great event that happens at the end of every year that's been called Fresh Meat. Basically, it's like a little convention you can table with all the other people and like cartooning and illustration and sometimes animation. Industry insiders come to buy things, the students buy each other zines, and it emulates a lot of the Comic-Cons, which SVA also is in attendance. We have a huge faculty of all working professionals, some of the best cartoonists in the world. Here we have people like me who do what's still a daily comic strip. We have people like Gary Panter who have been doing um, very avant-garde, sort of almost gallery comics, and everything in between. If you have questions for them or you really want to know what it's like when you graduate or when you get out there, they're the best people to ask. We have internships with DC and Marvel and Blue Sky. If someone is serious about being a cartoonist, SVA is the only place really to study.